Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a January hits and misses type of video. So if you want to see my hits and some of the misses that I encountered last month, then, well, technically this month, then keep on watching. Okay, so first things first, you guys know the deal. I'm going to go in order of how I do my makeup. So first, primer. Um, obviously, if you guys have seen my previous videos, you guys know this is like my all-time favorite to the ColourPop Pretty Fresh um, Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer. This is literally like one of my favorites. Um, I do not have like not a favorite because I've only been using that one and then this one because I'm almost out and I just, you guys know me, I want to use up a lot of things before I open new ones. So this is probably my favorite for January. And then for concealer, this one from Catrice Cosmetics. It is the Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. It lasts 12 hours, or at least it says it does. Um, I don't normally wear my makeup over like eight hours or so, um, but this is the concealer that I have like underneath my eyes today. It is a little dark for the foundation that I used. Um, and you can still see like some of the redness, but I always have bags under my eyes, so it's perfectly fine with me. Um, powder, obviously, you guys know the Cody Airspun is like my holy grail powder. I use it literally all the time. I've had it for a couple years and I still have plenty of it to go. Um, I will probably never run out of powder in my life. Um, let's see. I totally forgot <laughs> foundation. So I, this is actually the foundation that I have on my face right now. It's a little dark, but I don't even know if this particular foundation has colors. Um, this is the Dr. Jart Premium, the BB Beauty Balm. So it's like a BB cream. So it's not completely a foundation because it doesn't have all that coverage, but obviously it seems to do the job so um, this is 1.4 ounces so it's more than what usually comes in a foundation which is one ounce and it has it comes with a pump which I love because I can just put it on my beauty blender like straight on it and then do it or just put it on my face but yeah this is definitely my favorite for this month I got this at um, TJ Maxx I forgot how much I got it for, but it was, I think it was under $20, I think. Um, okay, so I'm completely out of order here, but it's fine. Um, and if you guys have seen my yearly favorites, if you haven't, go check that out. Um, but I'm pretty sure I had mentioned these three bronzers. This is the Marc Jacobs Tantric Bronzer. I got this from TJ Maxx and... I use it literally all the time. I switch back and forth between that one, my butter bronzer, she's broken, she's loved and well used, almost gone, I hit pan. Um, this is in the regular shade. I use this all the time. I use it on my face today. I don't contour, I just bronze. So this is like perfect. And then obviously, you guys, if you know me, my holy grails, these all three are holy grails. But this is the ColourPop uh, Pressed Powder Bronzer in the shade Coconut Beach. I'm pretty sure it is actually um, out of stock right now. I think it's sold out on the website. I went to go look when they were having their 25% off sale. And I'm pretty sure it was out of stock. So, um, yeah, those three are, like, my absolute favorites. Not just of this month of, like, since I've gotten them. They've just been great to me. Um, after bronzer, blush. Okay, so this is actually a new one for me, and technically for me showing you guys. <laughs> um, this is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Thanks for the Memories. It's from the Succulent Collection, so it's literally the one that I posted about in my Ulta haul. I think it's my last video that I posted. If you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. Um, I got lots of new goodies to show you guys. 
Um, this is a matte blush, so, and I love matte blushes. It's the one that I'm wearing today. It's not too crazy. I didn't go too heavy because last time I did and I felt like it was like a lot, but it's like the perfect like peachy like orange shade and it's so beautiful. Um, honestly, like on camera, it doesn't look like I'm wearing it, but in person it does. So my lighting is just weird. Um, I'm just going to go in with like fails like during the category if I have one, which I really didn't. No, I'll just do fails at the end of the video. Um, okay, so another favorite. So what's after blush? Um, let's do highlighter. I've been wearing a lot of this one lately. This is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics uh, Skin Frost in Princess Cut. It is the one that I'm wearing on my cheeks today. Um, I like to wear it when I'm wearing pink eyeshadow, which I'm not even matching with my shirt right now, but it's totally fine. This is what the shade looks like. It is a beautiful light pinky shade. Um, obviously, it's been used, as you can see, with this whole thing. And there goes Theo trying to open my door, and he did. <laughs> Alright, and now you can hear Hocus Pocus in the background. It's totally fine. My favorite movie. Um, okay, so after highlight is hang on okay i had to pause the video because my boyfriend was starting to scream at his dad on the phone <laughs> okay so i left off at obviously the princess cut highlighter um beautiful pinky shade i love it um so that's definitely a favorite for mine for highlighters i don't really have another favorite i kind of wear like the same ones over and over again and they're ones that i have already mentioned in the past so I don't want to keep mentioning them because you guys are probably sick of it by now. Um, so I'm going to continue with eyebrows. Um, so this is another new one for me and you, like me telling you. Um, this is also something that I purchased, I think, last month or something like that. Maybe at the beginning of January or maybe December. Um, this is the Urban Decay Brow Beater. It's the Microfine Brow Pencil and Brush. This is in the shade Dark. It has the spoolie and it has the retractable, um, like, micro fine tip, which I love. Um, I got this from Marshalls for a couple bucks, and it's actually really good. I do use my ColourPop, obviously, which I have my pomade on right now. Um, but I had never mentioned this, so I wanted to go ahead and mention it in this year's or not this year, this month's favorite. Um, also, I say um a lot. I'm really sorry. <laughs> That's just how I talk, I guess. Um, there we go again. So you guys know this is also a favorite of mine. I don't know if I had this on my brows, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this while I'm talking. Um, this is the Clear Brow Gel. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Clear Brow Gel. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, I got this from Marshalls, I think, for like six, seven dollars. So that's definitely a favorite. I have, I'm gonna keep mentioning it over and over again because you guys really should get it. You should see if you ever go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls if you can get your hands on it because it's originally like a lot of money. So yeah, save some coin. The next thing is, I'm going to do eyeliner. I'm not going to mention the same thing that I always do. So, I've actually been really loving this ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. The one that I always mention is Swerve. It's the black shade. And I've actually been using this um, brown shade a lot more. It's in the shade Stomper and it's about to like run out so I'm not gonna put it all the way down but it's a beautiful brown shade and it's super oh my god it's so creamy and it stays in the waterline relatively well and if you ever like do designs on your faces and stuff like that this would be a great option to do that with as well and it's a cheap drug drugstore option as well anything ColourPop seriously guys love 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 and I'm sorry if you can hear my boyfriend in the background. He's still kind of talking to his dad in the shower. And the shower is literally right across the hall. Um, okay, so after that, lashes. You guys know the deal. I have them on my eyes today. It is the Essence Volume Starless 18-Hour Lash Extension Mascara. And then this has lengthening fibers in it as well. 
this is what the um, one looks like if you guys have never seen it before. It's not, uh, it's not anything too crazy and it is super black stays on forever. I love this mascara. I actually have to use um, like makeup pads, removing pads. This is also a favorite of mine. These are the spa descriptions. This is actually a new one because I ran out of my other ones that I have mentioned, I think in my yearly favorites. So this is, these are the glacier water and collagen cleansing pads. There's 80 pads and it was like two or three dollars from Burlington. If you guys have one, go pick them up. These um, easily remove all makeup, dirt, oil, and most waterproof mascaras. It helps to firm, tone, and revive a skin elasticity. So I use any sh like any color of these because they have different colors. I use them to get off this mascara and it works great. And like crazy eyeshadows, it works great too. So yeah, this is definitely a favorite of mine for this month. I'm almost out of it. so. Like I said, I'm trying to use it before I open another one because they only are supposed to last six months. So yeah. Um, okay, the next thing I'm gonna mention is eyeshadows. So obviously, okay, I do have a couple, but it's not eyeshadows, it's eye palettes. So the first one, no surprise here, it's the At Forest Sight palette uh the ColourPop Rob Beauty Chrissy collab I absolutely love these colors it's such a like aesthetically pleasing palette so good the formula is super creamy I use it all the time not as much as I would like to but um with the new palettes that I've gotten the past like a month or so I've just been playing with more and trying to I try to use because I have a lot of palettes in my collection so if you guys want to see an eyeshadow palette collection video just comment down below and let me know but or like if you want me to rate them from like best to worst I'll do that too that's kind of sound like a fun video I might do that um, but I try to use like one palette every time like a different palette every time I do my eyes to kind of just keep it going um, and so none of them get left behind so Obviously, this is a favorite of mine this month, and so I actually got this, if you guys have seen my Jeffree Star Mystery Box video, you guys know that I got the Orgy palette from Jeffree Star. I love that it comes with a mirror, and honestly, like, I love this palette. I use it all of the time. It doesn't look like I've used it, but I have. I love all of, like, like this row up here to just set my, um... My eyeshadow base before like I do my makeup and then obviously like the crease shades or just like deepening in like the outer corners and stuff like that it's just the perfect all-around palette I probably wouldn't travel with it because it is a big hefty palette but if you are not um, like if you want just one eyeshadow palette and you are traveling I would definitely recommend taking this because that's probably what I would do um, or if you're just going somewhere for like a weekend or whatever you just have one luggage and you have room I definitely would recommend this boy if you have it use it definitely it's worth it um and the next the last eyeshadow palette favorite for me is this moon spell palette from lunar beauty my boyfriend got this for me for Christmas and Theo is trying to open the door again and he's he's gonna do it he's gonna do it oh you not okay um oh there he goes okay <laughs> um I literally just got a dog a couple days ago so oh there she is um so she's actually a favorite so hang on Wendy, come here. so here's my biggest favorite for this month this is Winnie um, mine and Billy's new dog completely off topic but she is a smooth haired dash hound so she won't get too much bigger our cat Theo is actually bigger than she is I don't know if you can see Theo he's like oh he's right next to me that's why um, she is one years old we actually got her got her from a foster place or an adoption agency because I would love to I love to save animals so she is a rescue um, but yeah her name is Winnie as in Winifred Sanderson from Hocus Pocus because obviously I love that movie so much so yeah having her and Theo try to get along is super crazy but this girl is so lovable loves giving all the cuddles and the hugs and I just love her so much but her and Theo mm, not a favorite <laughs> all right go <laughs> okay 
So, as I was saying, Moonspell by Lunar Beauty. I have one shade on my eyes. I was actually going to do, because I just told you I use like one palette a day, I was going to use Lunar Beauty on my eyes, but I actually have this shade in my crease. Um, it is, hmm, how fitting, Winifred, Winnie. Um, I used Winnie in my crease on top, and then I actually have, um, I'll show you later on, one of my non-favorites, but I also put Paige underneath the non-favorite that I'll show you, um, to kind of see if it would work out better for me, and I, it's like okay, but like not the greatest, so yeah, this is definitely a favorite, just not the fact that this shade is gone, but whatever, um, but yeah, I definitely do enjoy this palette. I love that it's like a, like a, the Charmed book. I absolutely love that because I love witches and I love that he named them all after like his favorite witches and stuff from like movies and shows. So yeah, that was a long explanation. Sorry when he had to come in, that's, that's whatever. Um, so the next thing on the list is, let's see, lips. Let's do lips. So one of my favorites, I completely like forgot about, but I have started rewatching it. Theo, you can't go in there. <laughs> I've started um, reusing it more this month. This is the Tardist Lip Paint in the shade Rose. Such a beautiful color. I do have a smaller version of this, like a mini version when I travel. It's like the perfect like peachy nude shade. It's so gorgeous. And especially like on someone with like light skin tones it'd be like a perfect like a little darker nude but if you have like darker skin tones it'd be like a beautiful like paler nude it's so stunning on everybody um i actually got this because of like a tiktok trend if you don't follow me on tiktok go follow me it's the, my same name as my youtube name it's just at rachel lamb this is the um nyx shine loud um it's like a gloss and lip color on one end it's a gloss it's a lip color and then on the other end it's a gloss so yeah hang on one second and then i'll show you guys okay so i wanted to shut my door because billy was about to get out of the shower and i didn't want you guys to see all that so on one side it's like the matte part or whatever so i'm just gonna do a little swatch the beautiful like brown nude like the perfect nude so then you let it dry for 90 seconds and then you put this gloss over on top of it and then the color does not transfer. So it's perfect for when you go out and wear a mask and the color does not transfer at all whatsoever. So I highly recommend these. I got it at Ulta for I think $11 or $11.50. But yeah, definitely a favorite this month because it's stunning and the color does not transfer. So highly recommend that. The next thing that's a favorite of mine this month is a Jeffree Star The Gloss. This is in the shade Diamond Juice. I don't know if I mentioned this in my yearly favorites, but if I didn't, this is definitely a favorite of mine. It doesn't really come off. Oh, oh, it does on camera. Okay. It's a beautiful, like, really nudie gloss, and it's got, like, the perfect shine shimmer to it. It's so stunning. It goes, it can go over, like, any lip um lipstick so good it's so beautiful so i love wearing that especially if i don't have to wear a mask because i don't have to worry about the gloss like the shimmer and gloss coming off on the mask so stunning and then i have a lot of lip products it's fine um the last favorite lip product that i have is the buxom cosmetics full-on plumping lip cream i'm actually wearing this on my lips today um because i wear this sometimes because I want to get use out of it but honestly it does like sting with the plumpness but my lips are so tiny that it doesn't really plump but I got this from oh this is in the shade melon mimosa it's like the perfect so with it being like a gloss I didn't like obviously the color isn't going to come off too much like it kind of looks like it's supposed to be like the color of, like my eyes are but I'll swatch it for you but it is the like perfect like shine to it it's such a pretty color and um yeah it does last the lips pretty well obviously i'm having i have it on right now it's 
really pretty. I do feel this thing still, but yeah. So I got this from TJ Maxx. So if you guys like ever see this from TJ Maxx or see any of their plumping lip glosses, I, I recommend them totally. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna mention is what's after eyes, lips. Um, I didn't even mention, this is also a favorite to you guys know. I'm a Jeffree Star fanatic, okay? I'm sorry. A lot of people have their opinions on him, but his makeup is great. If you don't like him, fine, but his makeup, great. Um, this is the Velour Lip Scrub. This is in Blue Raspberry Sucker. Obviously, it's super well loved. I think I mentioned it in my yearly favorites video, but if I didn't, I don't know why. I think I did though. Um, so I'm just going to mention it again because this might be the last time I'm mentioning it because I have another flavor that you guys will see in my next uh, favorites video if I use all this um, in February. So this is Blue Raspberry Sucker. It's literally mm, so good. I can't. But you put it on and it just moisturizes your lips so good. It takes like all of the dead skin cells and all that and just makes your lip nice and smooth. And then like I like to use it at night and then just put on like a lip balm to moisturize my lips uh, like at night like before I go to sleep. Or I'll even do it before I do my makeup because if you put it on, if you like over, um, if you put the lip scrub on and then you have foundation on, it might take some of the foundation off. So just a heads up on that, um, but other than that, it's so great. Such a nice like lip scrub formula. I love it. It's $12 on his website, which honestly is not bad because I've had this bad boy for like a year. So you definitely get your money's worth. Um, okay, his phone is really loud. Okay, um, so just block that out. <laughs> okay, this is actually a new product as well. I think I, if you guys haven't seen, obviously, my Ulta video, this was in there. Um, this is the 4th Ray Beauty. This is the Daily Face Moisturizer. Um, so, I actually didn't want to put this one. Well, it's honestly not bad. I have used it. My lighting is just not that great. Um, but it is a nice moisturizer to put on, like, all over your face, like, either before bed or, like, during your skincare routine. Um, but the eye cream, though. I do really like the eye cream. I put them, I put it, um, underneath. It's just like a, literally just a little cream. And then you dab it. And then it just, like, melts into your skin. But I like to put it... Um, like in my bags and then I just like do this and I do notice a difference between like the redness and like stuff like that so that's definitely a favorite of mine as well the last like makeup favorite I guess I've kind of been going all over the place so I'm super sorry this this video is all over the place like it normally is but that is fine because literally that's my life I could have a TV show in my life honestly okay this is the um morphe x jeffree star collab this is their set and refresh mist this is in the shade starberry i literally use this because obviously i use things up before i open other ones or at least i try to um so i've been using this and like the mist i is like now it doesn't want to be broke but that's fine <laughs> I think my mist goes out like this, so it's like really weird, so I spray it like this, and then like this, and then hello, another favorite, my fan, because I just do this when I set my makeup, and then it's perfect. Um, but yeah, this smells super good, and I don't know if this is still on sale on the Morphe website because they stopped selling like Jeffree Star stuff in store, so all their stuff online is on sale. So if you can, I think it's honestly on sale for like four bucks or something like that, so I would totally get one. Um, smells super good. It's like their, con obviously, their normal continuous setting spray. It's like the same thing, which I do have, but I've kind of just been using this one a little more. Even though this one feels like it's about to be empty, but I do have another backup that you will see later on. Um, so yeah, that's the favorite for my setting sprays. And the last thing, if you guys saw my Bath & Body Works hauls, if you didn't, go watch them. So this is the aromatherapy um 
what is it moisturizing body cream this is the energy one so it's the orange bottle oh my gosh okay so it's made with natural oils the number one is orange and then number two is ginger that's like in here oh my gosh literally I'm not one oh my god it just smells so good I'm not one to put on lotion a lot because um, my body is super sensitive to lotions especially after I shave my legs but seriously guys after I bought this last week I literally used it every single time after I got out of the shower I put lotion all over my legs and I actually put it on my arms sometimes I'll put it like on my chest and my stomach if I'm feeling it or whatever but it just smells so good and it actually kind of does energize me a little bit which is kind of weird but I do shower in the morning so maybe that's why I'm not sure but it literally smells so good so if you guys ever want to get something from the aromatherapy collection from Bath and Body Works I highly highly recommend the energy one if you love citrusy like orangey smells it smells so good okay so now on to the fails I don't have a lot I have a couple um the first thing that I'm going to mention is this liner from uh beauty concepts I got this from TJ Maxx to do like a or no it was either TJ Maxx or Marshalls to do the full face of TJ Maxx Marshalls um, this is their matte liner. Um, it's got a felt tip liner thing. And, like, literally, I'm, like, trying. And that's the color. It's just, it's not good. Um, it was literally, like, a dollar or two, but I did it, bought it for the sake of the video, so I had a full face. And it wasn't good. It literally was in my trash can, and then... I took it out of the trash can for this video so it literally rolled out underneath the door literally rolled out of the door so I'm gonna have to go get it oh well you when you oh she's so cute um okay so the next uh fail for me is the Becca ultimate coverage 24-hour foundation um thank god I got this from TJ Maxx because this is was also in um, my full face of TJ Maxx or Marshalls, whichever one, I don't know. Um, it also does come with a pump, which I do like, but it, like, when I wore it, it went around my, like, it clenched up around my nose and it, like, was in, it just, it wasn't it for me. Um, no, so I... Honest, I may use it again because I did only use it once and I'm wasn't fun from it from the start so I may just keep it and then declutter it if I use it a couple more times and find out that I really don't like it um but yeah and then the next one like my next fail is this uh pretty vulgar make them blush this is in the shade 15 pretty witty this is what the packaging looks like the packaging is stunning like I do love this uh really like this brand but this is a blush and it's, as you can see, it's like way too dark on my skin tone. Um, I will be posting that full face of Marshalls because I don't think I have yet. Um, I will be posting that. You will see all of the fails in their glory. It was horrible. Um, but yeah, the shade was just way too dark for me as a blush. So I may try it as a bronzer and maybe that will be better. I'm not sure. So I'm just going to save it for the fact that I'm going to try it as a bronzer. Um, and then the last fails that I really have this month are what's on my eyes. Um, these are the ColourPop uh, Jelly Much Shadows. This is Desert Days and then this is She Grown. I honestly don't even remember which one I have on my eyes, to be quite honest with you. Um, but they're like, I'm gonna like... I don't know it's like they're kind of chunky like the glitters are kind of chunky and it's just I don't know it doesn't look good on its own so that's why I put the um the eyeshadow from Lunar Beauty underneath it to kind of see if it would set better it kind of did um but it's just not my cup of tea I may keep them obviously just because I did buy them so obviously I don't like throwing makeup away I'm I'm not that girl 
um, unless it was like super cheap, which was the eyeliner, obviously. Or if it's old, then I throw it away. But yeah, so those were my fails. Um, I don't really have any other fails. No like setting powders or um, eyeshadow palettes or anything like that because I don't really get a lot of makeup, obviously. So yeah, that's what I got for January. I seriously cannot believe it's almost February. My 24th birthday is in March, so it's coming up and mine and Billy's two year anniversary is also the day after my birthday. So the next couple months should be interesting and fun. I hope that everybody is still staying sane during this whole weird time, especially with the whole inauguration thing and the coronavirus vaccine and everything. I just hope you guys are being smart and staying safe and healthy and trying your best to stay sane like I am. Um, so yeah guys, that's it for my January favorites and fails. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below if anything was maybe the same for you or um, if you guys want me to try out some products then just comment them down below and let me know. If you want to just comment hi, I will say hi back. I love talking to you guys even though no one really talks to me because I'm a really 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 tiny YouTuber. Um, but yeah, so that's it for this video and if you have not already please subscribe and follow me on this journey wherever this journey may take me. I don't know. Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, the normal things, and I will see you guys in my next video.